Okay, I think I'm gonna be staring in that direction, but it's gonna like mess up my eyes. I'm gonna be like, uh, okay, let's start this haul off. Ah, oh, I don't know what to do because there's like loads of pieces of clothing. They're all dotted around my room at the moment because I came back. We came back on Tuesday morning and my mum has done all the washing already. Yeah, okay, let's start with actual clothing pieces. This is such a beautiful red colour and I absolutely adore it, but it does come up a little bit small. I always find that Topshop um, denim comes up a bit small. I got this in a size 10. This is their like red denim skirt and it comes with the co warded jacket as well. I really want that, but it's £42, I think, and it's like the oversized one, whereas like I'd rather a cropped denim jacket just because I think they flatter me more than like actual denim jackets. I really love like the flame orangey colour of it. Or oh, I don't know if I like filming with this phone because the lighting keeps on going in and out and you can't really see. It's a bit dodgy in it. I'm sorry. We'll keep on with it because I can't find my SD cards. Yeah, this is a skirt. This is what I mean about it's tight fitting. Like if I turn to the side, um, it does like show my stomach at the moment. I have had quite a big meal. Just saying, I've got a food baby. But yeah, it's really nice. It has the raw hem as well, which I love. I adore things like that. Raw hem, like holes in the clothes. And then the second skirt that I got from Topshop. Now that was 29 pounds and this one was 32 pounds. This is the, um, what's it called? Pool ring skirt. So it comes with the zipper all the way down the center. Um, it does come undone by the way. So if you go to the toilet, you just go <laughs> It's just in a nice classic blue denim. It's like a mid wash. I got this in a size 10 as well This one fits a little bit more tightly than the other one But yeah with denim as like you wear it out through time It stretches out and then you put it in the wash and it reshapes itself But I really like this. I really like the detailing at the front It just gives something else to a denim skirt and I've worn both of these on holiday already. They're like a, like a staple in your wardrobe. Denim skirts are always going to be a staple in my wardrobe. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. And then also another denim skirt I got from New Look. This I bought on a whim because I knew I needed another one. And they're kind of like a classic for like going out out it's just another thursday night or whatever like you don't know what to wear and you just want to wear something casual but like you're going out anyway so this was 19.99 and i got it in a size 10. new look skirts come up quite big i would say like this one even after washing it is quite baggy around my waist i don't like the shape as much as the top shop ones i might sell this on depop and um, buy a Topshop skirt instead uh, because I think the Topshop ones flatter my figure a bit more. If you're a tall girl, I'm not a really tall girl, I'm only 5'6", but if you're a tall girl, the New Look ones are really good because they have a bit more material covering your legs, um, whereas the Topshop ones are slightly shorter. Yeah, it's just bog standard denim black skirt, you know, that's how it fits, what it looks like, you get the gist. You know, there's a lot more coverage to this skirt than the other one. Definitely, my front bottom is here. The material is covering it, definitely. My bottom is here. Okay, so, Urban Outfitters. I got this top. It was on, like, the last chance rail. One of these cami crop top things with the button detailing. Now, this is, like, all the rage at the moment because every shop, Primark, Miss Selfridge, H&M, you name it, has the button um, trend going on. I love it, I actually love it. It gives something so simple, like this, sit character. Um, like without it, it just looked like another cami top. But with the buttons, it gives it like an aged feel almost. At the back as well, it's elasticated. So if you've eaten a bit too much that day, you're, you're covered, you're fine. I find this top is really versatile and really comfy. You have a nice pair of jeans, nice denim skirt, nice pair of shorts. You're sorted with this. It's really like easy to wear. So definitely you could wear this top without a bra. The button down means that like you can adjust it as well. So if you're feeling a bit too like 
like like you can't breathe on that day then you can undo the button and it'll look like that it's pretty cute pretty nice um or you can just do it up like so and yeah it's just really nice sorry nothing in this is going to be like chronological order or like in categories or anything i'm just gonna like take whatever is in front of me anyway this is a bodysuit from zara so it has like the lace detailing on the bust area which gives it like a more dressy feel um and i got it in a size small yeah i got it in a size small because that was like the only one left in my zara and it's currently 5.99 at the moment but i got it for 12.99 because i bought it just before the sale happened although it's not like not like a thong back it doesn't have like a huge like vlp situation um which is really good because the lining isn't like too thick can you see yeah, but it's a really nice delicate piece as well. I paired it, I plan to pair it with the shorts that I'm wearing currently. And the shorts are also from Zara, from the TRF section. Oh, I'm not, there we go. Uh, they're like a paper bag style and they're really quite tailored and smart, which is like really nice. Um, I really do like this style because it's very comfy and it's very like uh, forgiving, like you can, dress it up wear like boat shoes or something for like a nice evening out or even like heeled sandals um or you can wear it with, like a pair of vans as i did today and do your grocery shop like they're really nice and they're not butt short they're like conservative shorts that's what they are they're very conservative and they're very like <laughs> proper for a pair of shorts yeah so this paired with the shorts was a really nice like evening meal out with a pair of sandals i wore red lipstick with it as well here's one of my favorite outfits uh so we have that zara bodysuit and the zara paper bag trousers together the, this has been the most easiest outfit that i put together i put together it in the shop I literally grabbed the two and was like, I'm going to try these on because I was having no luck that day with like holiday shopping. And then I saw these two, thought perfect, tried them on, Zara got it in the bag, bought it. You can definitely customise it because it's not too open. Like you can pull your boobs out for a bit more coverage or you can just do that and then you're a bit more modest. Um, like you can adjust the straps as well because yeah, you can pull it up as high or as low as you want it to be. Um, I will say it can be a little bit sheer if the material is stretched, so you might be able to see your nipple, just depends really. Um, so yeah, I'm going back out for you, you can see my tan lines now. But I really love the shorts, I love how um, they're paper bag and they actually have the ruching and stuff, it's like so nice. Very flattering as well on the body. Um, yeah, I just really love this outfit so much. The shorts are, I got them in size medium and they were $19.99. Um, okay, so this is a dress from Pretty Little Thing. I do have quite a few things from Pretty Little Thing, by the way, um, just because they're so easy for holiday. And I've got like the next day delivery thing, even though they've got issues with it at the moment because it's like high demand and everything. This is a t-shirt dress. I thought I'd, have I shown you this before? I reckon I haven't, but I probably have. Anyway, I wore this as an airport outfit to the airport, and this is just a black plain t-shirt dress. I wish it is was kind of like oversized, because then it would be nicer. Like I pair it with like um, cycling shorts. Um, maybe I should like upper size. This is in a size 10. Um, maybe I'll get a size 12 in a white one, but it's just a really nice plain basic to have and it was eight pounds All right, so I just went on a hunt around the house for the rest of my clothes as we're in the subject of pretty little thing These shorts are so comfy and they're so gorgeous as well because they're the they're the chain like scarf print type thing type style um, and they're really floaty although if you are caught in the wind I will say be careful because your butt cheek will be flying out <laughs> and you'll get all the wit woos I'm joking but be careful during the wind because they're really like whew, and they're really lightweight as well I got this in the size 10 I accidentally ordered two of the same shorts like in my order um, so I've sent one back today 
So they're elasticated at the waist, they're high waisted. They're just like really easy to wear. And I wore this on a, like on a boat trip that we went on. Also like just to the supermarket. Cause like you just like chuck them on with a black top or white top or something like that. It's just like really easy. They were 15 pounds. Yeah, I just really like the style of them as well. Like I really like the chain print and I've got like a matching like scarf for my head to go with them so this is the bodysuit with the chain print shorts right now you know i have a food baby but you can't really tell with these shorts because they're so flowy so if you're planning to have a big meal go on get these shorts because they're just perfect they're really airy they're really floaty you can breathe like you know so yeah and they're really flattering as well on the legs on the like waist everything about them only thing is i wish they had pockets because they are so airy you just want to go so for my summer ball i bought this dress it was actually really like nice to wear and i really like the color as well again pretty little thing got it in a size 10 and um, it's really flattering on your bottom and um like your curves um, I don't have many curves as it is. I'm quite like a straight bodied person. When something does accentuate your curves, it's really nice. Um, so it's just like a, like a kind of like a v-neck around the booby area. You can just pull your boobs up and then you've got a bit of cleavage, you know, showing. It's a bright baby blue actually. And I'd never normally go for a color like this because I just never thought that it would flatter me. But with a bit of fake tan on, this was beautiful. I loved it so much and it was such a nice dress to wear. Some people may have worn gowns or something, but I didn't know how dressy it would be. Um, so I wore this and I loved it so much. I'll probably put it up on Depop because I don't see myself wearing it again, just because it is quite a memorable piece to me. But I could imagine someone wearing this to like the races or something with their headpiece on. Um, but yeah, that was £25, which is really good bargain actually. I did order another dress from um, ASOS and it was an absolute disaster. I looked like a sack of potatoes and it didn't even do up at the bum. And it was like £60. Okay, a pair of cycling shorts. Got two of these now. These are from Primark. They're only £2. So if you can, go and grab them quick because they do sell out really quickly. I want a pair of grey ones, but they only have the grey ones that go all the way down to the knee. Not really feeling that vibe. Um, so they just look like that. I've got two pairs. That's really easy. And then this is like one of my favourite pieces ever. I absolutely adore it. And it's a play suit. A pretty little thing. Got it in a size 10, but it just does up at the back, like so. And then you twist it around to your front. And then you do it up like around your waist, like so. And then your outfit is actually just sorted. It's such a quick and easy thing to wear. Like on the first day when we arrived, actual first day, um, we got up and we had a bit of breakfast and we were just like, I don't know what to wear like what do we wear we didn't know what to wear at all it was like kind of like cloudy in the morning um which was kind of like misleading because like it was like the middle of the day it got so hot and the sun was literally blazing which was beautiful which was wonderful um, but we were just a bit lost in what to wear and um, so i chucked this on and it was ugh, a dream i absolutely loved wearing this and i hope to wear it in the uk here sometime i don't know we might go to the beach or something because it's quite a holiday piece i think because of the colors um and like it shows off like basically all of your back so yeah but i really like it it was 25 pounds so basically with this i definitely recommend you doing a knot first just like a simple tie at the back on your neck and really just you can customise it. No matter what type of boobage you have, you can customise it to how loose and to how fitting you want it. So for me, my kind of situation is I wanted it to be as tight as possible because then I could move them out a bit like so, like that, just to give me a bit of cleavage. And then you have the back situation like this, pull that to the front, you can do it however you want. This is how I did it. And then you just bring it to the front, cross it over again, tie a bow at the back, and you've got your outfit sorted, mate. Like, literally, there we go. That's me 
done for the night, for the day. Love it so much. Side note as well, I'm not going to film uh, me trying on bikinis and stuff because you'll see them like on my Instagram or like pictures of me wearing my ones on Instagram or like you'll see them online or something like you can definitely find something but yeah I'm not going to be trying them on if certain people see it their mouth is going to run away with them so I won't be doing that because a lot of it my ass is going to be out because they're cheeky ones aren't they okay swimwear okay this I'm kind of disappointed about this is a Calvin Klein set um so it's a tie waist bikini bottom and a triangle bikini top now the color is absolutely beautiful it's like the lemonade um color they call it and it does up at the back and it has a logo all the way around the waistband no not all the way around the waistband like at the bo bottom part that's your butt and um, it says calvin klein and then around the like bust line it has the um calvin klein logo all around and it clips into here right so i wore this at the beach and this happened can you see it's like the sand freckled the fabric and i don't know what's happened here but it just won't come out as well mum's giving it a wash I might try and give it a wash, but it's really annoying. Also, the cups are padded as well, but they're removable if you want to remove them. Um, yeah, but I'm really disappointed. I got it from Urban Outfitters, um, but I think it's just like the material. Maybe you're not supposed to wear it to the beach, but then what's the point of having like such nice swimwear then? Um, I really wanted it because it would go really nicely with my tan, but yeah. Oh, if you're gonna sunbathe, don't sunbathe with this on because you'll get like a really thick line, which I have right now here. And um, anyway, I got the top in a size small and I got the bottoms in a medium. I decided I don't really like tie waist um, bikini bottoms because they're just a bit annoying. And then if they undo, then you're a bit screwed because then like, yeah, things starts to show. That aside, I'll show you my favorite bikini of this summer at the moment. It is this like leopard cheetah print same thing they're all the same the animal print orange bikini top with you can either have like the brazilian thong bottom or you can have the high-waisted bottoms i got both of these with the intention of returning one because i didn't re i couldn't really decide but both of them came in handy and i've never in my life liked leopard print or any type of animal print ever like I've always hated it it was always one of my things where I'm like why would you even wear that that is gross but then for some reason I was just like yes I'm feeling it I'm feeling it I really want to try it so I got the top in the size 10 and the bottoms in the size 10 although in all of the bottoms from Pretty Little Thing for the bikinis I think I could have sized down because it was quite baggy at my waist and um my bottom because I haven't got the hugest bottom in the world so I really like the bikini top and then the high-waisted ones, if they were just a bit smaller, I would have loved them even more. But it, it, this together was like my favorite um, duo to wear and um, it was just so comfortable and I felt the most comfortable in this set. Uh, the top was 12, also the, these were 12 or 10? These were 10. Uh, pounds but yeah these are very very cheeky indeed as you can see your bum cheeks would have been smiling out i would definitely wear that again it was so worth it love it and then i got this bikini bottom as well and this is a brazilian thongy one as well they are high legs so they come up like like so you just pull it up at the sides like <laughs> um yeah but i got this because i thought i could like mix and match it as well but it would go with this triangle bikini top from primark which was so good because i bought a size 12 like in february or march or april sometime earlier on this year they had like got out their swimwear already and i was like oh my gosh no i need to get it straight away and last year i really did struggle with finding like just a black bikini top it was so hard like everything was sold out straight away i think it was because we went on holiday in august and we hadn't actually 
I hadn't prepared any of my swimwear or anything until later later on. And so everything was like just selling out and everything was like not getting restocked because summer was ending. So this year we went like earlier. So this was two pounds. I got it in a size 10 because the size 12 was actually too big for the for my boobs. Yeah, last year I had like a struggle of it just spilling out and like, nah, I didn't want that to happen this year. So I do it up really tightly and I think these cups are still quite big for me. Unfortunately, my boobs go out this way. They don't go inwards, they like to go outwards. So I have to readjust them all the time. Otherwise I'd spill out that way instead, which is like so annoying. But yeah, it's really easy. It's only two pounds, honestly. Go grab yourself one because black is a staple bikini color. And then for the boat trip, I thought I'd switch up a bit and wear a swimsuit because they're really easy to like pop on with a pair of shorts, like the chain print shorts. This is what I had, this was my um, outfit. So this one, it covers your bum a lot. I would say it doesn't cover your front part um, that well. <laughs> yeah, so again, it's a bit like the play suit where you do it up at the front, like so. And then you, you, it's a multi-way one, so you can have it however you want. You can have it like, just like this, or you can have it like, cross over. You know what I'm saying. Um, and this was 25, no it wasn't, it was 20 pounds, which I think is a really good price for this because it's very versatile and you can wear it as like, an, like an, a bodysuit as well. I think with like, bodysuits and swimsuits, you can, interchange them no you can't you can't with bodysuits because they're not waterproof um but like swimwear you can like interchange them into your actual wardrobe anyway um which i will plan to do with this because i think this on a night out would be like really nice as well um is that all my clothes that is all my clothes i'll go on to like accessories and shoes now um accessories no it's not don't tell my mom but I did go ahead to Primark today and I found some pieces. And again, they're animal print. Um, I haven't tried them on yet, so I don't know if they'll fit. But uh, in the shop, I did try on the size 10. I haven't tried on the size 12. Um, this is cheetah leopard print top. I saw it on like the mannequin and I was like, oh my gosh, what is that? Where is that? I need to get it straight away. And I tried on the size 10 and believe you me, I could not do the button up. I can't work out the full life of me how I do the button up. Like honestly, I'm gonna have to like see if a YouTuber or someone has bought this just to see if they could button it up because that's a joke that is. Anyway, they're really nice sleeves, like really airy and really floaty. I quite like the pattern as well. It's like not too like, it's, it's a bit more subtle. No, it's not, it's in your face. You're wearing animal print, shut up, Caroline. Um, yeah, I really like it though. Um, I'm gonna see if I can maybe sew another button somewhere here, because then it actually does that, because, right, let me actually show you. I wouldn't wear it with this outfit, obviously. Um, but look, the button is all the way over here. The closure is all the way here. I can't do that up. Maybe if I try size 14, maybe. Um, anyway, so this was 12 pounds. Then I got the matching skirt, but not intending to wear both of them together. I saw the top first on the mannequin and then I walked towards the skirt section, hoping that I'd find um, like shirts next to it. Anyway, so then I saw the skirt and I was like, oh my days, I need that as well. Um, because I saw one on Urban Outfitters and that's like an extortionate amount, but I do want the cami top as well. Bloody hell, I'm getting into animal print. This is a joke. Caroline, who are you? <laughs> I just don't know. Anyway, got this in the size 10. I haven't tried it on, so we'll see if it fits or not. So it's like a circle skirt. I don't know. It, is. it has buttons down there, but they're quite subtle because they kind of like just meld into the whole pattern itself. Oh my gosh, this is a look. Um, but I think like for the beach or something, it'd be really cute. I don't mind the state of my room, but my sister has taken my tripod and my camera. I'm just gonna be filming this like this for now because I've managed to do the button up, but it's quite, feeling quite tight. Like, 
I swear it's gonna pop or something. Anyway, so I've done the button up, so it like starts there at the bottom, and yeah, this one pulls over and does that up there. Um, so this is with the skirt on, so it looks like a dress when you have it all together like so, which I actually quite like, because I wasn't intending to wear it like like together, like a co ward type thing, but it is quite flattering. I never thought like a tea dress type thing would suit me, because um, I did have like my yellow mustard one from Topshop, but I've sold that because I didn't really like it that much. Um, but this is actually really nice. Um, the buttons down there, like you can't really notice them that much. It's really flattering though. Like it pulls me in and then it brings me out, gives me a bit of shape. And then the arms are really nice as well because they're really quite like, they're flowy and it's cooling. And I really, really like it. I'm really into it. Um, <laughs> Show you the back. Oh, can't really, but um, yeah. Keep with my tan as well. Really like it. Um, can I say any more good things about this? Um, might you might have to size up with the top situation. Um, but the bottoms they fit fine. They're lovely. Really like them. <laughs> yeah. So also from Primark before holiday, I was like. I'm really into the head um, scarf thing. I wore it last year. Yeah, last year I wore it to like cover my roots and stuff when I was having my roots redone and they'd go ginger. Um, because if you didn't know, last year I was blonde and now I'm not garbs and stuff to cover up my roots. And this year they're back in. And so this one is from the vintage kilo cell that my sister went to recently. And she just saw the scarf and then she chucked it in her bag because she, she knew that I would like it. Um, why did I take it off from Primark? They're all together. They're all Primark. They're all two pounds each. They all come up with this. Um, this one, you can wear like that. You can wear it as like up. But I will say I prefer tying them myself like so because then they don't slip and slide on your head as much because the elasticated ones, sometimes they can be too tight or not tight enough and they'll just ping off like so whereas this one you can keep on like pushing it back and forth and tightening it and whatnot to get it really stuck on your head um but yeah today that's how i like to wear them with a bun up or like space buns at the bottom as well um it's just like really easy as well especially with like greasy hair i'm not gonna lie i have greasy hair today and i put on a headscarf because it covers majority of your roots <laughs> um yes what else have I got to show? Caroline, you've got so much to show, come on. Shoes. And a bum bag. But first, I do have some underwear. I keep my underwear under my bed now. Um, just because I'm so used to it at uni. So, I got, I got this, but unfortunately I can't find the bottoms to this. I swear they do do like the bottoms to this, but I just can't find them. And I got them from Urban Outfitters. Yeah, it's just a Calvin Klein triangle bralette. I think they're really comfy. And they're really, like, they're really gorgeous to wear, actually. Like, I think they're really, like, flattering as well. And, like, under, like, jumpers or something, they're really nice. And I got it in a small because it fits my boobs the best. Um, and also the band as well. Um, I really like the dusty pink colour. And... Yeah, it's just really nice. Calvin Klein all over, £32. Then I got the matching thong bottoms to my um, grey bralette. It's because I don't have any matching sets really and I thought I should invest in some uh, because I'm getting to an age where maybe it's good to have some matching sets in your closet. Okay, so I've got a Tommy Hilfiger matching set as well. Um, I got this bralette because also I can justify this because you can actually wear this out as well um, Like I wanted like one of my outfits to be this and this together. Oh Look how beautiful that would be like a match made in heaven um, like a co-ord type thing and Yeah, so I can't really remember how much they were like 46 Ooh. Anyway, these were expensive the thong bottoms are like 17 pounds um, and then I got the matching bottoms to the top. I got this top in a medium and also the bottoms in a medium. 
yeah I thought they'd be a bit more high leg since they have like this band area which normally sits like on top of your hip bones but um they don't these small <laughs> lols these I got like April time I think and oh yeah because office were doing like 20% off I got the text through and I was like straight away they're in my basket and I bought them um because Converse are quite like pricey now they've like since I've been buying them the low tops I swear they used to be like 35 pound 40 pound now they've gone up to 45 pounds um and these are like 50 pound 99 now which is like Converse anyway so I've always um needed another pair of Converse because I don't wear them anymore uh, but these are really versatile and they're really nice to wear with cycling shorts and um, a t-shirt dress or just with a t-shirt dress. They're really cute because I saw on Sarah Ashcroft's um, Instagram story, she was wearing this white t-shirt dress with a pair of Converse and I was like, I need to have that look in my wardrobe somehow. So um, anyway, I got these because they're a staple for the wardrobe. I'm usually not a girl to like have my toes out or have like um like my foot on show or anything i'm just a trainers and a t-shirt type of person but do you know what these are really comfy and they're really like flattering on the feet as well i got a size seven by accident because i saved them into my wish list i just press any random size and i save it to my wish list on pretty little thing oh i got the converse in 8.5 because that's the size of my feet however i fit in these in a size seven um, which just amazes me because my feet are quite i'm not showing you my feet they're quite big and everyone always gets surprised about how big they are but they fit in the shoe i promise anyway so they elevate my height like subtly but they're so nice they're really lightweight they're really comfy they are a bit of a faff because like, when we wear, wore them on the boat trip they were like shoes off and I was like oh for fuck's sake we're not gonna find our seat now because like everyone would obviously go straight to the front of the boat um which is where I wanted to be obviously uh anyway but we got to the front of the boat these are really nice and comfy really versatile to wear although I did want to wear them today but I thought mate you're in England why are you getting so dressed up for but also at the same time it's like so casual to wear in Spain I don't know maybe I'll wear it more out like more often here um but it does make your legs look really long I really like oh, I really love them so much and they accentuate your tan as well because they're white and they're in like a PU leather yeah I don't know why I'm holding them so close to my face I bet some people are like uh what are you doing you're gross uh but yeah they're like an espadrille style um platform they were 30. Oh, I think that is everything. Woo! We got to the end of it. I'm sorry if my eyes have been darting here and there and like I've been pulling funny faces, I know. I do that quite a lot now. I express quite a lot through my face. Yeah, that concludes my haul. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you got some inspo from this and that you can see some of my, tr my style has kind of changed as well. Also, this I can use as a beach cover up. This is just a Primark dressing gown and I got it in a size small. Um, so it's just like this, but it has like the nice lacy shoulders as well. Um, so, <laughs> sorry, I'm like looking a bit creased at the moment. Um, so you have like the inner ribboning here, like so. And then you do that up and then obviously you do this up and then, yeah, I wore it as a beach cover up. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was like really easy to wear. That is everything. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll try and do like cutaways and like me trying on the clothes and whatnot because that's the thing to do nowadays. You try it on, you talk about it and you give your little piece. Uh, yeah. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't know what that's going to be. Probably like an old vlog again because I'm trying to get those out. Because I do want to see what's actually changed as well. Like me moving out of uni and being back here. <sighs> yeah. A lot has happened behind the scenes, guys. Catch you later. Bye. Bye.